Hello, this is a lesson on place value of whole numbers and it goes with GoMath lesson 1.2 and our intention today is that you the students can name each place value to the hundred millionth place and find the value of any digit within a larger number. Alright, so here's our, our notes and uh, you know it starts with a question how do I find the value of a digit and we're going to be using a place value chart for that today and I'm going to show you how to use that. Alright so here is the first type of problems you're going to see and that is you're going to have to write the value of an underlined digit. Now the 4 in this number is an underlined and we want to know the value of that digit only and the value is made up of the digit plus the place that it's in. All right, so in order to figure out exactly what place it is, let's put this number on the place value chart. Uh, on the place value chart you can see that there's periods, there's the ones period, the thousands period, and the millions period, and each period is separated by a comma. And if we look at our number we can see that there's a ones period, there's a thousands period, and then there's only part of the millions period. There's not three digits, there's only two. Uh, and so we are going to put this number starting with the millions period on the place value chart and then 452 is in the middle period, the thousands period, and then 92. Zero, nine, two. Right now our number is successfully on the place value chart and in order to know the name of this digit we're going to use the digit, it's 4, the place that it's in within the period, it's in the hundred spot, and the name of the period. So we start with the digits 400,000. It's pretty easy to put it together there. So we say it's 400,000. The other way that you can use this place value chart is uh, you can kind of do a little trick. So um, you put the the digit right it right below and then for every place until you get to the end of the place value chart you just put a zero get to a comma put the comma and we're just putting zeros all over here so the value of this digit is 400,000 so you can do it two ways you can take the digit say the place and the period and you'll have the number. So the value of that 4 is 400,000. Right, now we have a, a number with again three different periods. There's the ones, there's the thousands, and there's the millions. So let's put that on our place value chart. 0, 2, 3, and so on. 895. And this is the, um, the digit that's been underlined. And again it's Starting with the digit, it's a two ten thousands. Two ten thousands, though, is not two thousands, it's two ten thousands, which is twenty thousand. So the value of this is two in the ten thousands place, which makes it twenty thousand. And again, the name of the digit plus the place it's in will give you the value. Okay, so the second thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to write a number in two other ways besides the way that it's written. So it is written in standard form, and standard form is just the number. The two other forms we're going for are expanded form. That is where you take the number and you break it down into its values. So this digit has a value. If you add that value to this digits value and you add that to this digits value and to the other digits value you'll have expanded form and I'll show you how to do that but first let's put this number on our place value chart we can look at it and say okay that's three different periods because I can see the commas separate the periods uh, and I'm going to write that number in on the place value chart and don't worry about it writing it backwards as long as you get it all in there right so uh, expanded form will take this place and that value and add it to this value, then add it to that value and add it to that value. 
And so what we're uh, going to do though is go we're going to write the values in kind of a different way. So we're going to take the digit and multiply it by its place. So it's 1 times 100 million. There's a lot of zeros there. So 1 times 100 million is that first digit. I'm going to add that to 2 in the 10 millions place. So it's 2 times 10 million. going to add that to the next digit, 4 times 1 million, so it's 4 times 1 million. We're going to add that to 0 hundred thousands, but really if there's no uh, value in any of the places with zeros in them, then let's not put them on our expanded form. You don't need to. So we're going to jump all the way over to the 5 now, and it's 5 times 1. Right, and then to keep it neat, let's just put parentheses around all of the different values that we have. So 124 million 5 in expanded form is 1 times 100 million, 2 times 10 million, 4 times 1 million, and 5 times 1. And again, it's just the digit times the place. Uh, and then in word form is your other um, other way that you're going to be <coughs> writing this number. So we just take the name of this group of numbers right, and then just use the place, or excuse me, the period in order to name this thing. So this group of numbers you can see it as 124 and then we named the period millions. So let's write that in there. 124. And again, name the digits, or I mean, sorry, the group is 124, and then the period is millions. So it's million. Uh, and then after the millions period comes a comma. So we're going to put that also in our written form, our word form, 124 million. Now we don't have to say the thousands because there's no thousands in this number. And then we take the next group here and say, what is that group? It's five, right? Five ones. But when you get to the ones period, you don't have to say it anymore. It's just five. So it's 124 million five in word form. Your task today is to work on page 11 and 12 in your uh, textbook and to do those problems with 90% accuracy. If you can do that, you know you've passed that skill. Good luck.